I am Hannah Kofsky. Hi, I'm Natalie Rodriguez. Hi, my name is Isabella Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Grace. We are the early childhood students from Hill Ridge High School in Yuma, Arizona. In the past, we have always created weekend events for our Little Hawks Play School, which is our early childhood lab on our campus. But due to the pandemic, we currently have a virtual preschool and really had to think outside the box to continue helping serve preschool age children in our community. For the Chickaboom Paradise Service Project, we provided fun activities for the preschoolers to do at home with their parents. Since most preschoolers are attending kindergarten next year, we needed to come up with activities for the preschoolers to do at home while still learning since they are not able to attend at campus for preschool. We came up with the theme Chickaboom Paradise based off of the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom because we all have fond memories of the book and liked it as a child. It's also a fun way for the children to interact with each other. The book takes the readers through an up and down unexpected journey with the uppercase and lowercase letters up and down a coconut tree. We started off by creating lessons for our little hawks that had letter name recognition which the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom is all about. The lessons were created to last for a week. We created interactive virtual classrooms using Google Slides and included the slides Math, Art, Storytime, and Letter of the Week. We assigned each other slides to do and prepared materials and activities for parents to take home to their children. We all had to create videos on how to do each of the projects and then we uploaded them to our designated Google Slides. We communicated with parents and the preschoolers through our communication platform, Class Dojo. We also made newsletters to inform the parents what we were doing for each day, and at the end of the week, we sent out an invitation to an event. This event was short, and it was held over Google Meet, where I read the book, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and then we played a fun game at the end. The game was a letter scavenger hunt where you had to find something that began with the first letter of your name. For example, my name is Grace and I showed a pack of gum and Hannah showed a hairbrush and Bella showed a basketball. The other teachers and preschoolers really enjoyed showing their item as well to the whole class that started with the first letter of their name. And we actually got a lot of messages from parents saying how much they enjoyed our events and activities throughout the week and that their children really enjoyed hearing us read the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom to them. In conclusion, we think our event went really well because we had a ton of participants and there were no problems with internet connections but we think the event could have been better if we were in person because we could have physically interacted with the kids and helped them with the activities. But overall, we think it went really well because we thought outside the box and we provided really fun and new activities for the kids to do while at home. So this is the board that we came up with. We named it Chicka Boom Paradise. We got this border as an idea from the actual book itself. And then we made two palm trees to represent the trees that were also in the book. We wrote little letters climbing up the tree, and we also decorated them with little coconuts. And then in the middle, we have pictures of the activities that the little kids did. So this one is an art activity that they got to finger paint letters. These two are letter recognition activities where they got to paste letters on top of a coconut tree. This activity was they got to make their own palm tree and then they got to cut out letters and cut their name into the paper. This activity was a line tracing activity where they got to trace lines and practice cutting. This activity was a math activity where at the bottom of the paper it tells them how many coconuts are on a tree and they have to draw the amount of coconuts on the actual tree. And then this activity was a letter tracing activity where they just got to practice writing their letters and writing their name. And these last two pictures are pictures from our event where we were reading the book and then over here we're playing the little game where they had to bring something that started with the first letter of their name.